Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you, for my extended family and my new family that's coming by and stopping when you see my channel. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. If you've been stopping by my channel and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or I love to get the positive feedback. Or it's just you giving your remarks about the content of my video. Or if you feel like you enjoy the video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Like and even share. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And for my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support. And showing the love by dropping comments. And send you love and blessings as always as I do the same for you. And today, the meditation music I'm listening to is the uh, sh uh, shamanic, sh shamanic music, meditation music, relax mind, body, and soul. Relaxing, slow music, 3,423. So I will post that link in the description box below. I don't know why I got tongue tied off of that, so I apologize. <laughs> but today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocus, call on your higher self. You know, when we're going on our journey, there's times when we get confused, we get built, bewildered, and led astray. Okay, we get like that sometimes. And I mean, when we're on that mission, and we're on this journey of trying to be our better version of ourselves. There's sometimes we don't know if we need to go left or we go right. If we're on the right path, are we doing something too much? Are we, you know, not giving enough? And that's when you have to reach out for your higher self. You have to meditate, you know, go out into nature, you know, look for your answers there. You know, and it, it's just, we always question ourselves like that. You know, am I, you know, am I doing the right thing? Am I going the right route? You know, I ask myself that question all the time. I'm like, God, can you send me the signs to let me know? You know, because there's things that goes around me that's positive, but there's negative things too. But, you know, we all have to have balance on everything that we go through, you know, whether it's good or bad. We need to be able to accept and be grateful for everything that we experience. You know, and that's getting in touch with your higher self. Your higher self knows the things that you should be doing. They know things that you should not be doing. Um, it's always that little voice that gives you that, you know, that big thumbs up. We are so proud of you. You did this, you know, or you know, you know better. You know, there's these things that you need to, you know, step back and, you know, reflect on. So it's, it's just a lot of things that we do that we need to connect to our higher self get that answer because sometimes you know I, I get like that myself it's just like wow am I doing the right thing you know because there's times that you know I was just wondering am I doing enough on you know YouTube or my, you know do I need to do more you know I try to reach out on you know social different social media sites and stuff like that pursuing different things you know trying to start myself on expanding just not to be interested in just one thing but you know open my mind up to different things that I can pursue myself on that can collaborate with what I'm doing to be beneficial in the future so I'm getting in touch with my higher self and I'm learning okay you know first you have to let go of the things that no longer serve you Take the negative and toxic things and energies, the frequencies, people, whatever is not no longer serving you that has hindered you in the past, you have to be able to wipe those out and be able to sacrifice those things. And I have to learn that. I'm learning that every day. So I sacrifice things and I have to learn to keep sacrificing if I know I want to get where I want to be. So you have to be able to do these things, be able to get in touch with your higher self, call on them, meditate, you know, nature walk, you know, do, uh, you know, the the clouds and the scar, star, uh, star scar, uh, what they call it, scar, sky ring. I think that's the word for it, so please don't murder me for that word because I can't say it today. But it's just some things that you do as a Wiccan or a witch, it's just like, it's a blessing when you want to know more answers you just look at the stars you look at the sky 
you know, you be able to get visions, you'll be able to hear the voices that are telling you what things that you, you know, the, the confidence you need to find in yourself. And I do that all the time. It's just like you, you have that hunger that everybody else can see. You have to be able to see it and believe it yourself. And the more you believe in yourself and the more you love yourself and accept things that is coming into, coming into your life, you'll be able to gravitate things that you never even thought that you would be able to do. You know, there, there'll be blessings falling in your lap that, you know, you didn't even think you were qualified for, but yet somebody else thought you were. So, you know, don't give up on, you know, on your dreams. You know, keep on pursuing them. If you don't understand where you're going, reach out to your higher self and you will get so much clarity. You will get so many answers and it will give you a peace of mind. So don't give up on your dreams. And knowing, you know, when things are bad, it's not going to always be that way. You know, we have to learn and grow from every experience that we have. And, you know, knowing, hey, it's half the battle. <laughs> so I hope you are able to get something out of that message. You know, spirit guides told me to go ahead and make that. So I'll go ahead and I felt my spirit for you to be able to listen. So you know, I will keep you in my prayers. And I hope you definitely do the same for me. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line or two. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or let me know about your positive gift or your spiritual gift or anything that has positive been in your life that has impacted you on your awakening. Or it's just, you know, you're telling me about you being at home. Or, you know, if you enjoy what you heard, like, thumbs up, and even share. It will be greatly appreciated. And I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positive vibes as you possibly can. If your frequency is low or you see somebody else, give them kind words. Raise it up as much as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. Namaste.